Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a student fees portal where you can keep track to your student fees. So, in our Google Sheet, we have a login sheet where we have a user ID and user password. So, we enter our username and user password here and click on this sign in button. So, when we click on this sign in button, so now you can able to see we are successfully logged in our portal. In our portal, we have a search student ID feature. What is this feature? So, in our Google Sheet, we have a, a child sheet, the student data. So, here you can see here we have a major data about the student which we saved. You can save it manually in your Google Sheet. Okay. So, uh, we just simply copy our student ID and paste it here and click on this search icon. So, when we click on this search icon, so now you can able to see my student name, my father name, the student ID, the session, the trade, the today days automatically comes. So, what happened if I change the uh, student ID and paste it here and click on this set? So, definitely that uh, this ID, this particular ID data comes here. So, now you can able to see the data is successfully arrived in our fee slip. Okay. So, this is our search feature. So, what happened if we don't have student ID in our student data database, student uh, data sheet? So, not worry. In that case, you can manually enter the student ID, the date, the session, the transaction ID, the trade, the student name and the father name and the paid amount, everything. Uh, so, you and after that, you can simply click on this save receipt. So, what is the transaction ID? The transaction ID is only you got when your student is successfully paid and you will receive a transaction ID from your bank. So you can enter on the main time when your student is paying the state. Okay, how much amount you will charge? For example, you are going to charge 1500 rupees, 1500 dollars. So now you can see here 100, 1500 only. Okay. So here, what's the fees type? Fees type is tuition, exam, library, other. And you will simply select your fees type. And what's your payment mode? Payment mode is cash, card, online check. And you can simply select this. And after that, if you want to give, if you want to uh, give a copy to your student, if you want to give a copy to your student, so you can simply click on this download PDF. When you click on this download PDF, so your PDF is successfully been downloaded in this kind of format okay so you can simply send this slip to their whatsapp manually okay so this and if you want to save this slip you can simply click on this save receipt when you click on this save receipt your receipt saved successfully means your data is successfully saved in our fee system so now you can able to see in our fees uh, right now we have paid a fees for this student for this uh, a student id so in the meantime when i click on this all uh, click on this all the records so now you can able to see i am uh, you can you can able to see all the old payment history about this student id the last payment was on this date and today's date last payment is 7500 and the 1500 so if you wanna make a print or down make a download pdf so you can simply click on this get icon get button when you click on this get button so that particular data is successfully comes here why the session is not comes here because this session id is mismatched so if you update and again you will click on this get the so session id automatically comes so when we click on this save receipt so you can see here the slip is successfully saved with a new id okay because you can you will only get the old data and uh, while you get the old data you simply select the date of today and because he already paid you the 1500 so you are uh, you are preferring that you will search and get and uh, click on the save receipt for new uh, fee receipt ad. so this is our fee slip portal and here you will able to see the logout button when you click on this logout, so you are being logged out successfully from your portal. So uh, what happened if you want to add a new user, for example, I am going to add a new user with the this username and uh, with this password and I am going to refresh my web application. And uh, after re refreshing my web application, I am entering my username and password here and click on this sign. So when I am going to click on this sign in, so now you can able to see my data is successfully. I am able to see the fee slip 
and now I can generate a student. For example, we have don't have a student ID, and we need to uh, we need to submit a student fees. We can simply enter because we don't have this student ID. And here we select the date, and here we select the session, the transaction ID, the trade is electrical. The student name is Jamesimdad, and uh, here we will enter our father name. And the fees is 1500. Free type is exam and card. And click on this save receipt. So, when I click on this save receipt, my data is successfully added in my database. So, if I what happened? So, uh, we have added a free slip PK1003. We can simply uh, uh, paste it here and I click on this search. When I click on this search, so now you can see here the student ID is only comes because in our student data we don't have this data. Okay, so when I click on this old records, so now I am able to see his recent payment history. So when I click on this get, so now you can able to see last time when we created this and uh, generated address this time and also all the data which which we submitted you can able to see. So if you wanna make a payment for another month. You can simply select the date and click on this save receipt. So when you click on this save receipt and click go to the all records, so now you can able to see the month two and the month three payment history, the student fee slips. Okay, so this is our basic fee slip management fee management system of our school. Uh, you will uh, get a beneficial from this web application in your small academies in your schools and in your uh, small institutions so hope you like this concept you like this video make sure you subscribe our channel please like the uh, video and press on the bell icon so all the videos we uploaded you will get notified firstly okay so take care wish you best of luck for your future hope you will will be successful in your life